As you can see, I'm currently surrounded by a series of cones and markers. And it just so happens that the markers that I've laid out lay out the actual dimensions of the tennis courts, or more specifically, the space between the baseline and the service line. If you're like me and you don't have access to a tennis court at the moment, then you can quite simply mark the area out that we're going to use for these agility-based intervals. The grid itself is 8.2 meters by 5.5 meters. Now, if you don't have access to any form of, of tape measure or meter rule, then you can quite simply mark it out with steps. It's not as accurate, but it's gonna be close enough for what we're trying to do here. For me, taking relatively small to average steps, this width here is going to be around about seven steps, whereas the represented baseline behind me is currently 11 steps. The six cone pickup is a fantastic little drill to help with lateral change of direction, agility, and fitness. You don't have to use cones if you're at home. You can use any form of object, but I would recommend having something that you can grab hold of easily. You don't want to use small objects such as a phone. The aim of this drill is quite simple. I've placed six cones or six objects in line with the inner tram line of the tennis court. My start position is going to be in line with the center service line or the T. From here, I'm going to move laterally, pick up my first cone, and bring it back to the start position. If I were you, I would recommend doing this drill and initiating this drill specifically with a crossover step, just to get a little bit more ground coverage so that you're not having to take a large number of small steps to carry out this drill. So from here, I'm gonna cross over and shuffle, pick up my first cone, cross over and shuffle, place it back. Cross over, shuffle, pick up my second cone, cross over, shuffle, place my second. There are two variations of this drill. One of them is that the repetition or the set is completed once you've moved all six cones back to the start position. Another example of this would be performing this drill under an allotted time and trying to move the objects as many times as possible.